everyone. Welcome to Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. I'm Darla and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this hat. My poncho tutorial is linked below and this poncho inspired this hat. <laughs> so I use the same stitches for the hat. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and please comment below and uh, like this video, share, subscribe, do all the things. Thank you so much. Let's get started. For this tutorial, I use Lion Brand Mandala Roving. It's 100% acrylic. It's a thick, light, three colorway sandstone. I use six millimeter, five millimeter, and 4.5 millimeter oak. And here you can see that I separated the colors. Okay, we're gonna start with um, Magic Ring. I'm going to make 10 double crochets into the magic ring. So that was one, two, To make 10 of those. Okay, we have our 10 double crochets and now we're going to slip stitch into that first one. Okay, now you can pull your tail tight to close in that, that hole. chain one and then we're going to make two double crochets into each of these double crochets we made starting with the first one here so that's one double crochet double crochet in the same spot two double crochets in the next double crochet So make two double crochets in every double crochet all around till you have a total of 20 double crochets. Alright, so now we have 20 double crochets and then just slip stitch into that fur the top of that first double crochet that you made. Chain one. And now we're going to make one double crochet in that first stitch. And then we're going to make two double crochets in the next stitch and that's our sequence for this round. Okay, go in the next stitch, make one double crochet, go in the next one, make two double crochets. So one double crochet, two double crochets, all the way around until you have a total of 30 double crochets. Okay, one double crochet, next stitch two double crochets. Okay, now I have the 30 stitches complete. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch in that first double crochet we did, but I'm going to change my yarn and change colors. Sometimes I put um, a slip knot or a slip stitch to hook it on. So we'll do that. And then we just pull through both those strands and we have a new color. So now what we're going to do in this first stitch is 
we're going to chain five. Now that counts as a double crochet, chain two. Okay, one, two, three. That's a double crochet. And then we're going to do two more. Counts as a chain two. Back into that stitch, we're going to make a double crochet. All right, so that is actually a V stitch. Let me see if I can pull this tighter. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so that's a V stitch. Okay, then we're going to skip two, and then we're going to go in the next one with a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, which is also a V stitch, the same as we just did, but we didn't do the, the chains um, of three which is the same as a double crochet. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, skip two, go to the next one, do the same thing, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, so continue that around this round. I'll meet you at the beginning of this round. And when you're at the end of this round, and this is round one, two, three, four, you are going to have 10 V stitches. Okay, just like that. And then what we want to do is we want to slip stitch into the top of that first chain three that you made. And just slip stitch. Well, you'll have two stitches here. Skip right over those. Go in the top of that chain three, slip stitch chain one and now we're going to do like we did in the poncho if you made the poncho this hat is um, to match the poncho um, if not here we go <laughs> um, do a front post double crochet around this first double crochet in your v-stitch so go around the back of it Grab your yarn and just make a double crochet. Okay, now in between, in the middle of this V stitch, in this chain two space, we're going to make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, let's do that. It's one double crochet, two double crochet. A chain two and then two more double crochets right in the center of that V stitch. And then we have this other double crochet left here from that V stitch, so we're going to do a front post double crochet around that one as well. And I'll be right back. I seem to have <laughs> chosen a really short piece of yarn here. All right, I'll be right back to show you again how to do these stitches. Okay, so I'll show you this next one. You just do the same thing, front post double crochet. Then right in the center of that V-stitch, make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochets. And then around that um, next double crochet in that V stitch, go behind it to make a front post double crochet. Okay, show you one more time. Next V stitch. Make a front post double crochet around that first double crochet in that V-stitch. In the center of the V-stitch, make two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. It's one, two, chain two, and two double crochets. And then the other part of that V-stitch, Make a front post double crochet. Go around the back of that post, grab your yarn, make a double crochet. All right, 
continue doing that and I'll meet you at the end of this round. All right, so when you get to the end of that row, we're going to slip stitch uh, three times over to um, the chain two space there. So slip stitch, and then slip stitch again, and the tops of those, uh, what are they? <laughs> Um, that front post double crochet, no, no, the double, the double crochet, and then the next double crochet, and then slip stitch into the very center of that chain two space, but what I'm going to do is change color here, so I'm going to stick my new color on there, and pull it through, pull it through, all right. So now I'm going to chain five, like before, counts as a double crochet, chain two. Oh, am I out of shot? I'm so sorry if I was. Okay, so that was a chain three that counts as a double crochet, and then chain two, and then we're going to make a double crochet right back into that chain two space. So that's our V-stitch we're doing again around this row like we did before. Okay. So, uh, we're going to skip to that chain two space there and put a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Same thing, skip to that chain two space, put a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, so keep doing that for this round, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. All right, so now we're done the row of V stitches. Um, don't worry if your hat um, is kind of <laughs> looking tiny. <laughs> it's gonna it, after we're done the next row, it will flatten out again. Okay, so let's. Um, slip stitch into the top of that um, chain three. Okay, now we're going to chain one, and now we're going to do our front post double crochet like we did before, and the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochets into that chain two space. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then um, the front post double crochet. Okay, let's do that one more time. Front post double crochet, and then two double crochets in that chain two space, a chain two, and then two more double crochets. And then front post double crochet. All right, so continue that around, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. All right, so if you lay it down, flatten it out like this. So it's gonna spread out again. So we're at the end of that row, and we are going to slip stitch to finish off that row. One, two, three times to get into the center, uh, into that uh, chain two space. So that was one, two, okay, one, two, and then in that chain two space. Okay. We'll go on to the next row. See how it's, um, it is sticking up, but 
pull out those stitches that tend to <laughs> shrink it a little, it looks like, they will, it will make it round again. So no worries. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm actually going to change color again. So um, I slip stitch twice and then I'm going to go through that chain two space. And then I'm going to hook my, my new color of yarn on there. And there. You can do it all in one color. Okay, so now we're going to repeat uh, these last two rows we did, which were the same as these two rows. All right, so we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then do a double crochet in that same spot. Jump over to this chain two space and make your V-stitch there. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, continue doing that around this round. Okay, so we're at the end of that V-stitch row. Take a look at your hat, don't worry. <laughs> it's going to, um, it might look a little small again, but once you get that next row in, it's going to um, flatten out more, be bigger, a little bigger that's going to fit your head, hopefully, because it fits mine. <laughs> All right. Um, slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet there like we did before. Chain one, and now we're going to do the front post, double crochet, and then we're going to do the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the middle of that chain two space. And then the front post double crochet around that uh, next double crochet there. And continue on like that. It's, it's the same as what we did before. Do this whole row like that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so when you get to the end of this row here, slip stitch to the center. Actually, I'm going to change color here again. Um, going to this color. And don't worry, I mean, when you pick this up and look at it, okay, it did stretch out a little more here. And you might think, okay, it looks like it's going to be too small. Don't worry, do not give up. Do not give up. Um, Okay, so let's, I'm going to change to a different color here, and then we're going to continue on. Um, oh, I'm going to go through there, go through that, chain two, pull that through there, okay. Now what we're going to do is... We are going to um, make this row, the next row, so it's not wavy. It's going to be straight. Okay. So in that chain two space, we're going to chain one and we're going to make a single crochet. In the next double crochet right here. We're going to make a single crochet. Now in this next double crochet, we're going to make a half double. Now in this double crochet where that was your front post double crochet and then the next one as well, in those two stitches, we are going to make a, a double crochet two together. So yarn over, go into that first double crochet, 
pull your yarn through make a double crochet but do not finish it so you have two um, loops on your hook go through the next double crochet like you're gonna make a double crochet pull through those two and then you have three on your hook and just pull through all three okay so the next one we're gonna do a half double crochet in that one we're gonna do a single crochet in the next three so single crochet in that double crochet do one single crochet in that chain two space do a single crochet in that next double crochet and then we're going to put a half double crochet in the next one and then we're back to those um, front post double crochets so make two double crochets together um, in the first one start your double crochet but don't finish it leave two loops on the hook and start your double crochet in the next double crochet but don't finish it and you have three on your hook pull through all three okay so the next one I'll show you again we do a half double crochet in the next double crochet we'll do a single crochet chain two space single crochet next double crochet we do a single crochet next double crochet we do a half double crochet and then the next two double crochets we'll, we're gonna do two double crochets together so start your first double crochet leave two loops on the hook go to the next double crochet start your double crochet leave three loops on the hook pull through all three all right so continue on with that and see what it does it makes your row straight even I meet you at the end of this row all right we're almost at the end of the row well yeah <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do our half double crochet Half double crochet and then we're going to do that last single crochet and then we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did let me find it right here not the chain one we did at the beginning there but that single crochet all right, so now when you look at your hat, get all these tails out of the way. Sew those in later, of course. It's, it's expanding. Can you see that? It's expanding. So at this point, try it on. And I'm going to try mine on. Okay, so I put a picture in there of how it fits me so far, and it's it's going to be fine. Okay, so this next row, um, we're going to chain three, and that's going to count as a double crochet, and then we're going to put a double crochet in every stitch all around. Okay, every stitch all around one double crochet and then when you come to the end of this row put your last double crochet in here slip stitch into this top of that chain three which counted as your first double crochet and then chain three and do like I did here. We're going to make a few rounds. When I come back, I'll tell you how many rounds I made. Okay, I've made five rows of double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. 
Now what I want to do is I want to go to a smaller hook. I mean this hat fits me but I want the um, the brim what we're doing next to be more snug. So I'm going to go from a six millimeter to a five millimeter to do the next uh, row. So I'll let you know how many I do when I've done them. And um, changing, I'm changing color again. Okay. Let's pull that through. All right. Oh, I want that other one tighter. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain. Am I not in? Oh, so sorry about that. Okay. So I'm going to chain three. Okay. That was one, two, three. Okay, so this one is actually above this one. Okay, so in the next stitch, I am going to do a front post double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go behind that post, and then I'm going to make a double crochet. Okay, then in the next double crochet, I'm just going to make a double crochet right on top of it. And we're going to alternate this all the way around. So next one, go behind your post right here, make a double crochet. So that's a front post double crochet. And then go into your next, top of your next double crochet with a double crochet. Front post double crochet. And then go in your next double crochet at the top there with a double crochet. Okay, continue that around alternating. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. Now at the end of that row, you want to slip stitch into that first chain three you made. Now, now I'm going to um, change color again. So just let me do that. Pull that other one tight. Oops. Pull the other one tight, pull them both tight. Okay. Now what we're gonna do here So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, cut this one off. I just used them. It's just tight and not. So it's nice and tight there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do the opposite of what we did uh, in this other, this row, this previous row. Okay, so um, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to do a front post double crochet around that first double crochet here from the previous row. Okay, go behind it. And then make your double crochet. Okay, so in the next stitch where that front post is that you did, just put a double crochet on the top of that double crochet. And then we're going to put a front post double crochet behind the next double crochet there. So we're just, we're doing the same thing. We're just putting the opposite thing into each stitch. Okay, so there's your front post. Just put a double crochet on top of that. There's a double crochet. Put a ha um, front, front post double crochet around it. 
There's your front post, so just put a double crochet on top of it. Regular double crochet, put a front post double crochet around that. So continue on with that for this row. Okay, so um, I just did two rows of the alternating um, double crochet and front post double crochet. So what I'm gonna do now is I have one more stitch there to put a double crochet into. And then I'm going to slip my hook, not through that chain one I did, but through that that front post double crochet, just through the top of that stitch, because I'm going to change my color. Again, I'm going to go back to the very first color I started with here, which was the dark brown. And also, what I'm going to do is, this is a five millimeter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to a four and a half, just to do the very, very, very last row, which is just going to be a single crochet. You may want to do one row or two rows of single crochets. Just make sure as you go along, you try on your hat. Make sure it fits and make sure that it is is long enough. Okay, so that is uh, chain one I just did. And I'm just gonna make a double crochet, I mean a single crochet all the way around with my 4.5 millimeter hook. It's just going to pull it in just a little bit more. Just know it's snug around your forehead. Keep the wind out. Mm -hmm. I know wind. I live in Canada. <laughs> cold wind. There's a cold wind blowing today. Today's October... Hmm, I think it's October 13th, 2021. So just continue going around doing a single crochet. Maybe you just want a one row, maybe two. It's up to you. I'm going to see when I'm done this if I want another row. And single crochet in every stitch. And there we are. We are done. Let's just cut this. Sew it in later. There is your hat, and you will have seen me with this hat on in the thumbnail and at the beginning of the video, and also at the end of the video. There it is. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you make this hat and uh, the poncho that inspired the hat. <laughs> um, put them in my Facebook group. My Facebook will be linked below. I'm also on Instagram under crafty.yarn.owl. So be sure to tag me if you put up pictures, uh, if you're on Instagram. And um, also if you have a channel, I would love for you to tag me so that I can Make sure I see it on your channel. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. And please subscribe and like and share. Thank you.